Hello, uh, today let's see how to uh, use packet tracer for programming a, a single board computer like uh, a microcontroller like Raspberry Pi in order to operate your devices. So in that regard, I'm just going to components and then uh, choosing all the relevant components I want. So SBC is single board computer which will act like your Raspberry Pi. And then I wanted to operate uh, some kind of actuator so I'm choosing two components, a servo and the LED. And then you have to make connections. So I use IoT custom cable to do it. So right now, uh, let's connect this, okay, D0 to the servo motor, D0, and D1 of this to the LED, okay. So now this is not glowing because you have not written any controlling code on the single board computer. So now click on that and go to programming, uh, blink python, double click it, you will have your main.py. So if you want you can zoom the code and these are the header files, gpio is general purpose io and the time, these are the imported files needed. Uh, and then pin mode is something if you worked with Arduino IDE, this is not new. So pin mode is something which configures a particular pin to an input or the output mode. So now you have to specify two attributes. One is which pin you wanted to control and whether you wanted to operate it as input or output. Now because I wanted to operate this pin number one uh, as output because I need to control output device which is LED. Uh, we have just written here one and the mode of operation is out. And then blinking is just a, a explanatory text which tells we are going to do a blinking of LED. While true will act like a loop and there are two lines which are repeated. Digital write delay, digital write delay. So what does this do? So uh, digital write high, value of high which makes the LED on, on the pin number 1. Okay, And keep it on for 1000 milliseconds which is 1 second. And then you write digital write 1 to the same pin you are making it low. Make it off for half a second. So either you can have both 1000 or 500 just to show some variation this is done. And now what you do is you just run the code and see if your LED is blinking. And now you can see your LED is working. Now let's see how to work out on the server. So any component you have, you wanted to know the details about it, just click on it. It will give a lot of details uh, about the particular component. Now this is a kind of uh, unit which uh, requires value not only 0 and 1. A varied values are needed because it is angle of uh, uh, movement. So now they have given 0 to 161 which indicates the angle 0 to 160. So any values in between that uh, you, you are allowed to give. So now on, on this uh, we saw the uh, description. And now what should you do is just go back to the code again. And then you have to write a line for controlling your server. So here they don't use analog read or write which is the usual way of writing in uh, 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 Arduino IDEs, but here they use a word called as custom write because I'm going to write some detail. I'm writing custom write, and uh, which pin you wanted to operate? If this is connected to zero, so I'll say zero and 127 or 125. Uh, what whatever value between that uh, zero to 161, and this is on one direction. And now I'm going to reverse it anti-clockwise. So I'm just taking this. Pasting this again here, but in the reverse. So I'm going to put minus 127. So now if you operate this, so what happens is I'm just running it again. So now you can see both the components are running, the servo motor as well as the LED. And now what you can do is, uh, I just wanted to add something to it. If you wanted to remove any component, okay, remove anything, uh, you just have to use this operator to remove it, okay. And now whenever you save okay, the file, the file you can save it and open it for future purpose. So you can say save as and then it will be stored whichever folder you want and it will be stored as a pkt file okay, which is a packet tracer activity file. So the extension of this file is pkt. So you can give any name you want. IoT uh, device programming and then say save which you can open it later. And let's see how do we do this just to show you. So now if you click on this, this connection will go off. 
So this is how you program and uh, connect the components. We'll join again for the next video. Thank you for listening.